Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Well, anywho, how y'all been doing? That's all I want to know. I just want to know how everybody been doing out there. All right, y'all. So, this is up. Uh, this is what is up with Mama, okay? First of all, I know y'all probably wonder, well, what happened to episode number eight? Um, tell the truth and shame the devil. What? Would she stop telling the truth and then shaming the devil? I mean, what's going on with her? Mm, mm, mm. Well, y'all, um, there comes a time when uh, all good things must come to an end. And um, that is the end of my series, okay? I have another series of sitcom that I want to come out with, okay? But I believe... Okay, seven episodes telling all my secrets, all my skeletons in the closet, okay? At least seven of them, okay? Honey, I think I done told the truth and I done shamed the devil more than one time, okay? All right, and um, the fact that I got up this morning, okay, and I'm in a vertical position, bam, honey, I shame the devil every time I rise, <laughs> All right, y'all, so yeah, Mama have told uh, a lot of her story, okay? I have told my truth. I have told my reality, okay? And I'm sure I have helped somebody, okay? And for those of you who um, wanted to know or are wondering, well, why she come on, you know, uh, um, not national TV, national YouTube and tell all her business. Well, honey, okay, it's called helping somebody, okay? All right, so when you go through things in life um, and you get through them, you tell your story, okay? And it could possibly help somebody else who is currently going through something like that, who may be getting ready to, to, to uh, go through something like what you've been through or who have already gone through something and may be struggling um, with getting past it, okay? So all I want to say is, is that, you know, we all have made mistakes, And we all have come short of the glory of the Lord. Okay, all right. Now, I ain't having Bible study. This ain't church, okay, or nothing like that. But um, the truth is the light, honey, okay? So anybody out there without sin, okay, be the first one to throw the first stone, okay? Oh, okay, all right then. So um, with that being said, I think we are all on the same boat. I didn't uh, see or feel any stones coming at Mama, so uh, we all must have sinned at some point in time, okay? So I'm not embarrassed about things that I have done um, in my life because all sin weighs the same, and um, you are no better than I am. Um, the only difference is I just choose to uh, be real, keep it 100, try to help somebody, okay? Now, I'm not saying you're not 100 because you don't come on national YouTube and tell all your business, but uh, what I'm saying is, is that um, this is the 100, a.k.a. 100 channel, okay? So I keep it real, okay? I keep it real ghetto sometimes, too. <laughs> all right, y'all, so yeah. So yeah, all good things must come to an end, honey. And um, th that's the end, okay, of my series. I think I have told enough of my story. I think you all um, should know me very well by now, okay? And um, with that, I'd like to read a quote. Okay? So for those of you, like I said, some people said they're going to go to their grave, okay, with their skeletons and their secrets and all that stuff. They're going to take their graveyard to their grave, okay? Um, I chose not to. Um, I, to I chose to come on and tell my story, okay? Um, but for those of you who are feeling a little bad about maybe some secrets that you have, um, you feel like you have done the worst thing in the world, People try to hold you, you know, to your past. You know what I mean? You know, I think the worst thing is when people try to hold you um, to your past, okay? Um, when you do things that are wrong, okay, and you go to the person or the people that you have wronged or done wrong to, and you ask for their forgiveness, and then you go to the Lord and you ask him for uh, uh, his forgiveness. Honey, that is the end of the story, okay? 
bam the end okay that is it okay it is thrown into the sea of forgiveness never to be remembered no more okay so don't let nobody on this green earth okay don't let nobody who don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in okay hold you to your past okay people try to make you suffer for the things that you have done or the mistakes that you have made but honey <laughs> suffer no more okay you don't have to suffer behind your past mistakes it's called past okay it's called moving on okay if someone don't want to move on and they want to hold you to what you have done or or have not done in your past honey i'm, I'm gonna need you to advise them that they don't need to get a little counseling or something okay because you can't get blood out of a turnip okay once someone apologizes for their wrongdoings, and then they've asked the Lord to forgive them, honey, you got to move on, okay? You hold yourself back when you try to hold somebody else to their past. Um, You wouldn't want nobody to hold you to your past, and I mean, we have all made mistakes. So if we have all made mistakes, then how dare you hold somebody um accountable for something that they've done in the past? How dare you? Oh, you are without a spot or a blemish. Oh, you don't have no sin. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Well, anywho, moving on. So here's my quote. Everyone comes with baggage. Find someone who loves you enough to help you unpack, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so when I did my series, my sitcom, Tell the Truth and Shame the Devil, I was unpacking, okay, some of my baggage, okay? Once you tell a secret or once you let one of your skeletons or let all your skeletons or a good majority of your skeletons out the closet, it's no more weight on you. It's like a weight lifted. Like, okay, what? And what? Okay, you done told your own story. Can't nobody tell your story. You done told it. Okay, bam. <laughs> So, yeah, there you go. Okay, and I have another quote that I want to read today to you all. All right, let's see. We do not need to parade our failures or pretend that they didn't happen. Instead, we can thank the Lord that through his grace and power, our past is forgiven. Our present is changed, and our future is bright with hope for all he has prepared for us. Okay? So, um, yeah, honey. So, with that um, being said, you cannot move forward if you keep looking backwards. Okay? All right, honey. So, I'm going to need you to forget my past. Okay? Think about your past and make sure that you have asked for forgiveness for your past. And let's keep it moving, honey. <laughs> All right. All right, and um, let's see what else I have here. Maybe I got one more quote that I might can read to y'all. And um, by the way, y'all, in case y'all are wondering, okay, Mama did some foundation today, y'all. Hey, hey, Mama did. Honey, Mama don't know what she done done. Ultimate cover something. Bam, Dollar Tree. That's all I know. Okay, yeah. So I did this foundation today. Then I did a pressed powder. Well, actually, I did a concealer. Revlon, different shades, concealer. Then I did a pressed powder by Chanel. Um, I don't know. It's whatever, y'all. Okay, all right. Then Mama did um, some contouring today with my Black Radiance. I love this stuff. Can you see the little dent that Mama has put in it? Yeah. Black Radiance for contouring. Okay. Then I did a very high pigmented blush. Okay. By LA Colors. All right. I did that on the cheek area. Okay. And I used my Santi Stargaze palette. Okay. Um... I used two colors out of here. I used this light pink right here. And I used this fuchsia pink for my inner eye tear duct. Okay. <laughs> Honey. Then I did some glitter. Oh, that ain't the one I used. 
So y'all, I have glitter, a whole little container full of glitter, and I used my pink today. Um, I got a little pink band here. I just got a little ponytail with a little bow here. Two strand twists on the side, y'all. Nothing major. Um, accessories, I have on pink butterfly. I love butterflies. Pink butterfly there. Maybe if I turn this around, you can see. Pink butterfly there. Here's another pink butterfly. I just love butterflies, y'all. And then this is just a regular pink ring. And, of course, my wedding ring. Because I was married now, honey. And I got a husband. Okay. All right. So, in case somebody was wondering, okay. Pink earrings. Um, Lippy. Let's see what's up with Lippy for the day. Okay. I got on brown lip liner. Okay. And I used... Where's that little cheaper lipstick that I used? Child, mm, I hate when I can't find my stuff. So, anywho, I had used this little tube of gloss, and then I put this over top, okay? So, that's what I'm using for lippy today. Turn my fan on. I'm getting hot. Okay. Oh, here it is. Mm, fell in the drawer. This is an L.A. Colors um, little gloss that I put on first. And then I topped it with my um, lip, my pink lip gloss here. Okay. Um, pink bracelets. Um, this is the one that, that says love on it. At the, yeah, see? I don't know if y'all can see that. It says love. I have on my watch, my white band watch with my mini Mouse in the middle. Y'all have seen this before. It lights up, y'all. I guess y'all can see. I love that. This was originally for my daughter. But she didn't want no parts of that. So, um, my daughter is 11. She is not a girly girl. She don't like all that pocketbook and baby dolls and all that pretty glamorized stuff. She's she not even on that tip right now. So, this watch was for her. She didn't want it, so I couldn't leave it. All right, I have on a lip balm. Before I apply my lipstick, I always got to put, like, some kind of lip balm on my lips. I don't like a dry lip. Um... And, um, I think that's it, honey. That was easy. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, um, <laughs> there you have it. That's what mama doing today. Okay. All right, so, yeah, so, sorry, y'all. I know y'all was enjoying getting all that dirt all up in mama's business. But mama done told uh, a lot of her story, okay? And uh, that's more than what anybody um, do that I know of, honey. I don't know nobody that then came on here and put their skeletons in that graveyard out on Front Street, okay? All right. Well, some people have. I'm not going to say nobody have. I'm just going to say that um, this is the 100 channel, and that's what I did, and... Um, Bam, it's time to start something new, a new series, a new sitcom, okay? I like new stuff, okay? Um, I get tired of the same old, same old. So, yeah, I've told a lot of my story, and um, I'm sure I've helped somebody, and um, I just thought I'd come on and let y'all know that the series have ended. Sorry it ended so abruptly, because I know Sunday y'all was waiting for Mama to come on here with um, some dirt, honey. Child, look, I like this song by Myri Silas. It's called I'm Friends with the Monster. I'm friends with the monsters that's under my bed. Get along with the voices inside of my head. If you're trying to change me, stop holding your breath. Do you think I'm crazy? I don't know, just say maybe. Get up and dance. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, I love that song. Anywho. All right, so that's it, y'all. Y'all done got an explanation. Y'all done got uh, Mama's Makeup of the Day. You done got a song. You done got a little booty shaking dance. Okay. Bam. Mama is done. Bam. Hit subscribe, y'all, honey, if you want to see more of this. And, oh, when somebody asked me about my nails, they couldn't tell what was on my nails. Um, I don't know. If you all can see what's exactly on my nails. Um, it's like a high yellow polish. 
it's pink and black designs with glitter and I have a gel um, polish on top because I like for my nails um, excuse me to stay shiny looking um, until you know it's time for me to get a fill in I like for my nails to look fresh and shiny so I always get a gel polish on top of whatever I get done so yeah there you have it honey that's what's this what that's what's on mama's nail somebody was asking about that so bam there we have it all right y'all so let me get off of here um and get them monsters from under my bed <laughs> all right y'all let me go uh my gabby and my bella just got finished fighting them girls i don't know what is wrong with them girls. what's wrong with girls even in the dog world the, the women don't get along lord child please help me mm -mm -mm. all right goodbye y'all